Hello guys and welcome back to episode number 6 of the Fiorentina career mode. Hope you guys have been enjoying so far from the looks of it you have which is absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for all the likes and comments recently. It is so so greatly appreciated and I literally couldn't be more happy with the success so far. Obviously we are starting off today with a game against Liviano or something like that. I'm not too sure. I'm not Italian or not very familiar with the Serie A apart from the top kind of five or so teams so I do apologise if I butcher names of teams or players in this series that's just the way it's going to be until I learn a little bit more of their names and stuff but we do start pretty much our strongest lineup again I was trying the 3-5-2 this game Although in the last episode we did struggle a little bit with it, I decided that for this Serie A game I would give it a go and it seemed to be working quite well. I jumped on, obviously this being my first game of the day as it usually is when I record, and I was actually really enjoying it. I had actually recorded an episode of my player beforehand, but that doesn't really count I guess. But yeah, I mean I felt really good today when I was on FIFA. It was it was going well, all the bounces were kind of going my way. And Di Bale who have a lovely shot. Unfortunately it didn't go and that would have been a spectacular volley if he had scored it. And he almost got exactly the same type of volley there as well, but a good save from the keeper Manzoni there to keep them in the game. And we were playing fairly well this game. I was definitely feeling like we could go ahead and get the win. Although look at this, how on earth did he miss that? I do not know. That was very, very unfortunate for the opposite team. But Rossi here actually proving to be a bit of a force this game and so unlucky not to get the goal there and on the rebound as well and it does go out for a corner kick but we come back here again with Thiago smashes it and I just do not know how that did not go in that was such a lovely Ronaldo chop from Thiago all he had to do was just finish it on his right foot and he put it literally about an inch or two wide of the post which was so annoying but another cross comes in here for Liv Liviano uh, is it Liviano or Liviano I'm going to call it Liviano but anyway, we do go through the defence with Rossi there. Lovely shot. Take it on the shot. And it is actually a beautiful goal there. Lovely few step overs to beat the defender. And a nice shot on his weaker foot. Surprisingly, it actually goes in. But look at that. Just lovely few step overs. Beats the man. Goes round him. Takes a shot. And straight past the goalkeeper to make it 1-0. Hopefully, we could continue in this sort of form. I definitely wanted to win this game. That's for sure. Because they are a team, I would imagine, Liviano. A team that aren't in the top kind of 10 in the Serie A. Maybe, I don't know. But still should be a team that we are beaten they took a pretty poor shot there and Neto still in fantastic form for us which is awesome they get another chance here in the kind of closing minutes of the game that we managed to get a good clearance from I believe it was Gonzalo Rodriguez the game does end 1-0 which is absolutely fantastic and we do pick up three points in the Serie A. We do go back into the main menu here and I believe although we do have a game against Alberg coming up we do actually have some dealings of players to deal with we have Aquilini and also Lazari wants to go on loan even though he's 30 we'll probably sell both of them in the next transfer window and maybe try and bring in a new centre mid because they are both centre mids but yeah I'm quite happy to sell both of them players not really looking to use them I don't know why Lazari wanted to be sold uh, loaned out he is 30 years old and he's not really going to get any game time now at the club so it kind of baffles me a little bit but we obviously lost our first game of the Europa League if you didn't check out the previous episode then go ahead and do so we lost it 1-0 to Cuban Kanzor, something like that. We did have the game against Alberg today, and we definitely wanted to pick up the win here. They did lose their last game as well against the other team in the group, 1-0. So there was a bit of a favouritism towards us. We should be favourites to top the group. We shouldn't even really have lost a game. So I was hoping that we could improve on last episode's Europa League shenanigans and actually go ahead and pick up the win. Obviously, this is a competition that we could potentially win. We aren't in the Champions League, but this is a good competition that the... Europa League and it's definitely not to be shied away at you know it is a very good competition there are some good teams in it but we definitely should be prop you know possibly one of the favorites to get to at least like the semi-finals this year which is kind of my aim this year anyways to get to the semi-finals we go through here with Hesse on the wing he cuts back tries to look for a pass into Dybala but unfortunately it doesn't work and it is cleared away we get a free kick here as well with Matias Fernandez 39 yards out and a pretty poor free kick I tried to drill it into the goal but unfortunately it just didn't quite work like that which was a little bit frustrating I haven't scored a free kick yet in this career mode and I don't tend to score a lot of them but Rossi there with a lovely fake shot goes around the defender and he finishes it very very well to put us 1-0 up I'm finding that outside of the foot shots with G Rossi are seeming to be the best way to finish with him obviously in the last few episodes I have struggled increasingly to actually manage to score with him but by the looks of it it looks like the inside of the foot shot is the best way to score with G Giuseppe Rossi 
And that does make it 1-0 to us, which is fantastic. Going into half-time, hopefully we could keep hold of that 1-0 lead. I did not want to give a goal away because I felt if we gave it away, that would be the end of it and they would get back in it with an advantage. But luckily, it was looking like they weren't really creating too much. They almost get a chance to get ahead of there, but it didn't, thankfully. And we do go into the second half still 1-0 up, which is great. As you can see, they are on the attack here again. They go through on goal, but thankfully, they weren't playing very well. They are not a very good attacking team by the looks of it, Alberg. And that was kind of you know to my advantage because my defending recently on FIFA has been just absolutely appalling I do apologize I haven't don't really play FIFA too much anymore apart from when I record I kind of got a little bit bored of it I've actually been playing quite a lot of counter-strike global offensive if you've heard of that game I suck at it but yeah that, that's partly the reason that I'm not as good at FIFA as I used to be is I just don't really put the time into it as I used to just because I don't enjoy the game quite as much but Borja Valero coming close there with a shot just far of the far post and it does still stay at 1-0. No, they do get a free kick here, about 40 or so yards out, roughly the same as the Matis Fernandez kick, but obviously on the other side of the pitch. Luckily, we clear it with Stones. It comes back out to Thompson here. He lobs it in, and a good save by Neto. He is having a fantastic couple of games for us. Really happy with his performances in goal. We do actually break away, and you can see I haven't cut the clip. But we, we break away with Rossi again, hopefully trying to double our lead, maybe even getting Rossi another goal. He comes in, fake shots round the man, goes in, and again, inside of the foot shot to make make it 2-0. I'm pretty sure his goal in the last game was an inside of the foot shot as well, so it looks like Rossi is the best way to score with him, is definitely with the inside of the foot, and that does mark his second goal of the Europa League for Giuseppe Rossi, and obviously the second goal of the game as well. Maybe looking for a hat-trick, but unfortunately we didn't get time to get him a hat-trick, and there you can see him celebrating number 49. Really good game from Rossi and Dybala, both being quite effective, although uh, Paolo Dybala didn't actually score which is a little bit of a shame he started off really well at us absolutely electrically but now he's kind of slowed it down a little bit so hopefully in the next couple of episodes Dybala can come back into form and score us some more goals but we, you can see the other results there McGladbach beating Aberdeen 2-1 pretty standard results really and Lup Lupatelli here wants to play unfortunately he won't be getting any games as he is 37 years old and Vecinio wants a go as well who I might actually give a go because he's a quality central midfielder and Valero wants a new contract and while I was actually doing his contract I also decided to do everyone's contract that was running out in under a year's time so we don't lose him in January to a pre-contract arrival thing for other clubs so I do actually go through and I think about five or six players need a new contract you can see here me just doing going through it sped it up obviously to avoid it being boring and that was the end of that really and this is the standings in the league table so far but this is going to be the end of the episode guys hopefully you have enjoyed if you have if we could smash over seven likes that would be absolutely awesome if you haven't already go and subscribe to the channel and i'll speak to you guys in the next episode very soon